So I'm uh, Ross Turk and I'm the Vice President of Community for Ink Tank. And we're here with Penguin and Calzada to show an integrated storage solution, which is Ceph, which is a software layer running on top of uh, this Penguin chassis uh, using Calzada system on a chip. And what Ceph does is it allows us to take all of the drives in this system and turn them into a single storage cluster that's self-managing and self-healing. What I'm showing today is a visualizer of Ceph. On the left-hand side, you'll see the logical representation of the cluster with pools on the inner ring and placement groups on the outer ring. We have an IOPS scale uh, beneath that. And on the right, we're showing the physical status of the cluster. And right now, we have five servers in and 10 nodes, uh, 10 nodes in. And so everything's up and normal. And I'm going to try to change that and see what happens to the cluster. So the first thing I want to do is create some load. So I'm using a, a tool called Rados Bench to create a little bit of traffic. And you'll see the red spark line on the bottom uh, begin to move as the traffic registers with the cluster. There, there we go, starting to move. I'm going to jump back over here. And I'm going to stop two of my uh, object storage demons, both of the ones on the Ceph 5 node. Let me go ahead and refresh my tree here. Oh, one of them's down. And there we go, both of them are down. So I'm going to refresh my logical tree. And the first thing we'll see is that some of these placement groups are now a dark green. And that dark green means that they're stale. The monitor hasn't heard from them in a while, and it's trying to figure out whether those placement groups are still up and available or not. I'm going to refresh one more time. And now we've noticed that the monitors turn them yellow, which is a degraded state. And what that means is that these placement groups no longer have the three replicas that they need in order to be fully up, but they're still serving data. Now, if I left it like this, Ceph would eventually realize that those nodes are not coming back and it would begin to rebalance data across the cluster. But instead, we'll pretend this is a temporary outage and go ahead and start those OSDs back up again. Let's see. And not quite back up again. There we go. Eight is back up. And we're waiting for nine to come back up. There we go. They're back up again. And if I refresh logical, I'll notice that some of these placement groups are still degraded. And it's uh, figuring out how to deal with these outages. And uh, it's getting a little bit closer. A little bit closer. We still have something in our first pool that needs to be recovered a little bit. But most of these other pools are figuring it out. There we go. The cluster is fully recovered at this point. Uh, and the, the load that we put on is, is still occurring. So this is just cycling what happens when you take nodes out of the cluster and bring them back in, how Ceph notices they're gone, and then how it uh, notices that they're back and validates the data that's on them and brings the cluster into an operational state.